So you and Shandy were beaten by a little punk like Mip. Beaten? He crashed our fucking helicopter. That sounds like you lost to me. Put me in a room with Miller and we'll see who loses. Calm down, we'll get there. I don't want that little bastard beating me again. Don't worry, he won't. Kenzie's a little high strung, don't you think? She barely goes out and stares at that screen most of the time. I'm surprised she's still sane. You sure she still is? Looks like the Deckers started the party. Well, guess we're crashing then. I always win. We better get in there before they take that thing. gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Sean D. Play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. Think you can pick a fight with stag by yourself? Well, you're not coming? I'm going to pick up a surprise for stag. You know how to use a Molotov? Yes, Pierce. I know how to throw a fucking bottle. Jesus, I was just asking. She wasn't born with that chest. Oh, these banners have to go on principle. A few Molotov should do it. They're on the way. We ready? Yes. Be careful not to set off the bombs when you get close. I'll be monitoring Stag's approach from our security room. Pay attention. I'm pinned down. Let's see how rich fuck is fine. Josh Burke's kidnapping spreads. The idolized actor who portrays the vigilante vampire Night Blade was reportedly forced out of the studio at gunpoint and thrown into the back of a vehicle. At this time, it is unclear if Burke is alive or dead. Support sites are popping up on the internet by the hour, begging those responsible to let the actor go, while opponents of the violence seen on the show are claiming this is karmic retribution. 
This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport celebrity gossip. I'll give you 50 bucks. Pick out a nice one. Funny. I'll explain it all once this thing's set up. Kenzie, how's Good, I need help. Everything all right? If it was all right, I wouldn't need help, would I? The boxes are too heavy. Boxes? What boxes? I'm moving stuff into my place. There are boxes. Some are too heavy for me. I need help. Got it? I'll be right over. I thought someone who just got out of captivity would want to live it up a little more. Not really. I hate people. Oh. Okay, so do you have anything on the Deckers? Not yet. Okay, then what have you been doing since you got out? Power leveling. You're killing me, Kinsey. I can't help you take down the Deckers until I know where they're hiding. So I wrote a program that tracks the user's physical location while they're logged on. That's... awesome. Just play the damn game and I can pinpoint where the Deckers are in real life. And now we're talking. Like a high-tech hot potato. One of the so what's the point here? I power level your cycle to be able to blow past any security block the Decker users put up. Meaning what? I just drive into things? Pretty much, yeah. Sounds simple enough. It appears that the computer took no damage during the violent exchanges, and the Saints are believed to have it secured in an undisclosed location. There is no official word regarding the Saints' plans for the computer, but rumors are beginning to swirl around an ambitious new spin on virtual... You ever driven a motorcycle before? Of course. Hmm. You couldn't tell. Gee, thanks. ...with your Steelport mobile computing news. How long do I keep this up? Until you hit the end. That'll hit the most users. See? Not so bad. You need to disrupt one of their shell companies. Anyone in particular? A fence company. That's fence like a barrier, not fence like buyer of stolen goods. You're kidding me, right? The company that makes them is seriously bad news. If you'd rather a corrupt, sinister organization keep making money... Uh, I'll do it. It's easier to say yes than understand the reason with you. What was that? Nothing. You really don't want to ride with me. Still got it.
Yeah, so much for that. So much more relaxing than painting. Nothing like a little carnage. Yeah, so much for that. Kinsey, I am not moving any more boxes. I went out and they found me. Who? The Deckers. Who else have I been hacking? Wait, don't answer that. I'll come help you get out. No, get into position and cover me instead. Right. Put the gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That... connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Sean D. Play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. Think you can pick a fight with stag by yourself? Oh, you're not coming? I'm going to pick up a surprise for stag. You know how to use a Molotov? Yes, Pierce. I know how to throw a fucking bottle. Jesus, I was just asking. She wasn't born with that chest.
Oh, these banners have to go on principle. Nothing the Molotov should do it. Oleg, they're on the way. We ready? Yes. Be careful not to set off the bombs when you get close. I'll be monitoring Stag's approach from our security room. Pay attention, I'm pinned down. Let's see how rich fucks fight. Get in. I'll cover you from the air. to the best. This is why I don't get out much. Damn you, fool. We're being followed.
location. Is there a way to fix that? Yep. I have to visit each location separately and hack into them locally. You'll never get close enough without them spotting you. I will if you're watching over me. Like with a helicopter. With guns. Yeah. I bet that'll work. It's better. I already found the helicopter. Still got it. You ready, Kinsey? Been waiting on you. You sure you can handle flying that? I don't tell you how to hack, you don't tell me how to fly an attack chopper. Makes sense. You do your thing. <laughs> that wasn't very hard. They should upgrade their security here. Probably better they didn't. Stay down! Everything good? Two down, on to the next. That's right!
Still got it. Hope that helps. Kinsey, how's the information you got on the Deckers coming? It's compiling. So what's next? Not talking over the phone now. Too many people could be listening. Okay. Smiling Jacks. Go there. Okay. You should be more careful. I saw you coming two blocks ago. Traffic cameras. They're everywhere in this town. Good to know. I'm serious. You should toss out your fancy overpriced phone. I can find you through that, too. Yeah, look, I feel kind of weird having a conversation like this. Totally agree. We should be using, like, that Navajo code dialect. Come up for air. I took care of the Deckers. Sure. Let down your guard and suddenly they make it look like you're selling secrets to Mossad and moonlighting as a dominatrix. You've created a big enough disruption for you to move on, Matt Miller. But if you want the Deckers gone, like really gone, there's a lot of work to do. All right. I'll hit you up if I need any more help. Remember, throw out your phone. How's the setup going, Kinsey? Hard for me to move this thing around. Why don't you ask? Oleg is helping. What do you need from me, then? The next important piece of equipment. Help, help, no! Perfect! Look, just come over and I'll explain the plan. Explain it again, real slow. I want to broadcast your subconscious into the Decker Usernet. Then you'll be able to interact with the avatars of users and corrupt the abstract representations of data that are the cornerstone of their online operation. To do that, I need a Nemo chair, of course. A what chair? Nemo, neurological electromagnetic on gyroscope. The KGB destroyed the only one in existence. But the Deckers have one. Impossible. How could they miss the signal? They're keeping it here. Clever. Okay, nerd time is over. What is this thing? And Kinsey, for fuck's sake, keep it simple. <sighs> I need the chair to stop the Deckers. Thank you. Once we get to the nuclear plant, I'll need to cut the external power uplinks to the main building. Why don't we just run in and take the chair? Well, we could if you want all its circuitry to fry as we try to disconnect it from the power grid. Guessing that would be a bad thing? Yeah. 
So if you're looking me up to this thing, it's gonna be comfortable, right? How should I know? It's a chair. Yeah, but are we talking padded leather that reclines or some wicker bullshit? That's what you're worried about? If your ass is gonna be comfy? These details are important! How about some music? No, thanks. Come on. Some techno or dubstep? That's all over the internet, right? Not interested. You don't like easy listening shit, do you? God, no. In what? 80s rock? Death metal! Hardcore gangster rap. Seriously? Alright, here's the power uplink locations. Keep the deckers off me while I disable each one. Looks like it. Find me the time to shut down this power.